The world's population is growing at a rapid rate. The UN estimates that population will grow from 6.7 billion today to 9.2 billion by the year 2050. Every year, population growth is putting a heavier strain on the planet's land and water resources. How can we sustain increasingly fragile ecosystems? And how can we meet today's need for food and energy without jeopardizing the ability of future generations to meet theirs? Now more than ever, it is essential that our agricultural practices be as sustainable as possible. This means getting more out of our cultivated land with a lighter environmental footprint and in an economical way. Farmers are providing one solution. Here in the United States and around the world, many farmers today are using agricultural biotechnology to help address food, fuel, and water shortages. Since biotech crops were introduced in 1996, farmers have been producing increased crop yields and seen improvements in productivity. That means more food for people and more feed for animals at affordable prices and better incomes for farmers. Biotech crops are also helping more people to meet nutritional needs, which is especially important in developing countries. They also offer farmers resistance to pests and crop disease. Agricultural biotechnology is also helping farmers cope with drought and water shortages. Drought can mean the loss of a year's harvest in a matter of weeks. It can devastate entire communities. Today's biotech crops are often hardier and as a result use water more efficiently. In addition, drought-tolerant corn will soon be available to farmers. And in parts of Asia where monsoons and floods can destroy an entire country's rice harvest, plant biotechnology may one day provide flood-tolerant rice that can withstand these extreme weather conditions. The environment also benefits from biotechnology. In 1961, one acre of food crops was harvested for each person's food supply globally. In 2006, that number decreased by over 50 percent. That means we're feeding more people today on less land. The development of pest-resistant crops also means that fewer pesticide applications are necessary, which helps further reduce agriculture's environmental footprint. And biotech crops not only help feed the world's population and conserve land, they can help us fuel it in a more sustainable manner too. A growing world population requires more energy. In 2006, the United States alone used nearly a quarter of the world's oil supply. The International Energy Agency predicts that global energy use could increase by 50 percent between now and 2030, with most of the energy sourced from non-renewable fossil fuels. Scientists have developed new sources of sustainable energy, such as biofuels, which are derived from high-yield renewable plants that can be converted into ethanol. In the future, next-generation biofuels generated from biocatalysts will make an even greater contribution to meeting tomorrow's energy needs. Biofuels also contribute towards a sustainable energy future while saving the environment. According to the Renewable Fuels Association, today's ethanol reduces greenhouse gas emissions by up to 29 percent, the equivalent to removing 2.1 million cars off America's highways. Cellulosic ethanol is expected to reduce emissions by 85 percent or more. And some biotech crops grown for biofuels are grown with no-till farming practices, which also reduces greenhouse gas emissions and runoff from farmland. According to the Corn Farmers Coalition, American farmers have cut erosion 44 percent by tilling the soil less. Less than 1 percent of global arable land is used for the production of feedstocks for biofuels. A recent study found that there are over one billion acres of dormant cropland around the world that could be put into bioenergy production. Bioenergy crops can provide food, feed, fuels, and other high-value co-products from the same crop, making the highest possible use of the land. Protein from advanced biofuel crops could even reduce the acreage of land required to feed livestock. Scientists, agricultural researchers, environmentalists, Business leaders and governments are coming together to identify and explore sustainable agricultural practices that increase productivity, meet nutrition needs, and improve the socioeconomic well-being of communities around the world while reducing agriculture's environmental footprint. 
farmers depend on healthy soils and nutrients and adequate water supplies year after year. Today they are getting help from new technologies that enable them to be better environmental stewards while meeting the world's growing demand for their crops many uses, food, feed, fuel, and fiber.